welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to do an arrowed mix from a cup measurement because I find this is the easiest way to get an arrowed mix to help your plants grow. Soil them up because I know a few people have started buying them ready mixed. So I thought why not show the easiest way you can do it yourself at home without having to buy it because this way you can buy in bulk and you can actually make more so your money is going further anyway guys so i'm going to tell you the prices the cup size where to get them from and all the rest what is an arrow mix you're going to probably not see me much but you're going to see me doing the measurements just throw that in there guys well an arrow mix is a common house plants like porthos philodendrons alocasias monsteras zizis aglomias arrowhead vines and many others so guys let's get started so i'm going to start with the orchard bark this orchard bark is used for air retention so it helps the plants breathe and it helps the roots get stronger guys so this is quite good and what we're going to do is use two and a half cups full of arrow archer bark so i'm going to put in oh, gonna make a big mess today gotta be done so that's one cup bung it in there bring it forward Two cups. And two and a half cups, guys. So that's two and a half cups there of orchard bark. Now this orchard bark, I've got five litres of it for six pounds from eBay. So five litres, six pounds. They're quite big, big in size, quite chunky monkey. But that's all good okay now i'm gonna put in move these stuff out of the way guys now i'm gonna put in some cocoa core and i've i've done a video of me making this because it comes in a block so you have to put water in it and let the water soak in it takes about 20 minutes and then it becomes a bit firm like this so i've done a video i'll pro probably place that here or at the end somewhere along the line so two cups of your cocoa core one one in there two now these could be any any cup size guys any mug size it doesn't matter so two cups of those i got 14 liter of this for 10 pounds from ebay so that's the two ingredients we got in there. The cocoa core is air retention. So it is really good for the growth of your plants and it helps with diseases in the long run. So that's really good. And then we are gonna take one cup of active carbon charcoal. I got 200 grams of this. For four pounds this is good to filter the impurities that build up in your soil over time so put a cup of this in there one whole cup there you go guys and then worm casting the fourth ingredients will be the worm casting basically guys this is what worm poop it's very good for your plants plants love it they thrive in this i got 1.2 kg of worm poop for six pounds from ebay so you're going to put one cup of worm poop so the mug oh the mug ain't gonna go in there guys so i'm gonna pour into the mug there you go worm poop flying everywhere in it goes so that's one cup now last but not least perlite now i've got 100 ml of this guys for 19 pounds off of ebay as well guys 
a hundred mil is let me show you what a hundred mil looks like and this is after i actually used a lot of it guys no joke this is a hundred mil of perlite oh gosh it is so heavy and so big and i didn't even know this is what 100 mil looks like and i ordered it oh don't do that guys it's not even good for you and bloody it guys 100 mil oh i don't even have space to put it i don't even know where to put this anyways 100 mil will last me a lifetime there you go put that away so you need quite a lot of perlite so i'm going to be using three cups of perlite so one two three and this is for water ret retention guys so this helps hydrophenic in your plants and mixing in with compost it really helps your plants filter out the water drainage is very important but look at that mix look at that mix look how it looks guys this is what i call a perfect mix if you use these cup size guys you can't go wrong you get it right every time for your plants this is great look at that mix and then you can water it down put a little bit of water one cup size full of water in there and just you'll have this wonderful mixture that you could put into your plants they will thrive in this guys this is a this is an ideal perfect mix for your plants great so you got that what i did was i did one earlier i did another video same video but my quality wasn't so good so i already planted my variegated monstera so i'll probably put a clip of that in there as well while i was doing okay it. guys now we're back what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do my variegated monstera and i've got a pole in there trying to keep it straight i've got a string tied up and what i'm gonna do quickly is just take no no, 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 not take that out. First, I'm going to put a bit of soil at the bottom. So just that much for now. And then I'm going to take the rod out, leave the string in there, it's fine. And I'm just going to nudge it out a little bit. Oh, it's well established, this root is. Don't want to hurt the plant anyhow. Okay, look at these roots, guys this is still how i bought it so there's still a lot of perlite but i'm going to keep it like this guys i'm not going to disturb the roots or do anything to disturb it i'm just going to put my potting mix around it so it can adjust to a new form of potting mix and just keep it there this is so dried out it actually needs a drink my plant my variegated monster actually needs a drink and I'm just going to put it in there like so, put it around, making a big fat mess. And because the soil is moist, it will help, but I'll probably give it a good drink and then let the water drain out at the bottom and just leave it as that. So there you go guys, that's done. And what I did want to do quickly is put a moss pole on it. It's quite a big one, but still, dig the moss pole in underneath, put some soil around the moss pole to hold it into place. And then I'm gonna use the string, I should really get tape for this. There's a plant tape you can get, and I could do that. Put 
not too tight. Hold the plant up a bit right. This plant needs a bit more sunlight, guys. As, as you can see, there's some browning going on. Change the position I'm keeping my plant. And just hopefully it will start climbing soon. And yeah, guys, it's as simple as that. That's all you need to do. Any questions, please leave them down below and I'll be happy to help. But that's it, guys. That's all you had to do. Take care, guys. Like and subscribe. Bye.